Hello my soccer universe to the Premier League review from the weekend. I'm wearing Chelsea for quite the obvious reason. I think they're the big winners of this weekend. Probably not entirely expected, but hey, they did it so I'm more than happy to wear them. This is the new Chelsea jersey. No, not the, the new the newest in my collection that uh, that I got the 608 jersey. Um Let's get right to it. Um, Southampton beating Norwich 3-0 was not a big surprise. I think they took a little while and then uh, got on, on, on the way. But um, the first match that I saw uh, from the Premier League since his return was Spurs against Manchester United. And I have to say, um, I don't want to say it was a great, great match, but it was more gripping than... Uh, the Sevilla Barcelona one that I saw <laughs> not too much thereafter, uh, almost concurrently. There was a slight delay, so I could watch the first half. Um, I thought Manchester United actually looked quite well and were a little bit unlucky to go down, but uh, Bergwijn really took advantage of a uh, Maguire being not the um, you know the mo mo most movable defender, <laughs> and I don't know what the hair was doing. He had a great save uh, later on, but at that one he had the hand on the ball he needs to save what Bergman is doing. So Spurs get a kind of a lucky, lucky lead, but they could have doubled it up thereafter. And I think at the half, I kind of convinced myself that the Spurs lead is deserved. However, United took a little while, but once they wants to get going, getting Pogba in, they actually really looked uh, good and better on the day. And it was then Yoris um, who, kept them in the game, uh, making two, sa uh, two huge saves, especially the one uh, against Marciava. That was an amazing save. Uh, that kept at that time, I think, Spurs in the lead. Uh, with Pogba came also a lot of um, flair going forward. And in the end, Pogba, maybe it was a soft uh, penalty, but I thought it was uh, good by Eri 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 clearly takes him down. Penalty given Bruno Fernandes slots it home and I actually thought that United will win it but uh, Spurs hang on to a 1-1. One, one. Um, totally disappointed by Spurs, I have to say. Uh, Watford against Le Leicester City looked to be headed for a draw. And then with a really nice goal, uh, Chilwell made it 1-0 uh, for uh, Leicester in the 90th minute. And we saw, okay, it's all going for Leicester. And then Watford in stoppage time with a wonderful uh, bicycle kick by Craig Dawson makes it 1-1. So it ends where we all thought it would end up, but it took a little twists and turns. Almost the result of the, of the week was Brighton against Arsenal, where... Um, first of all, Neil Mopé, um, with a rather unnecessary tackle, takes out Bernd Leno, who is injured and has to be taken off. Uh, and Emiliano Martinez comes on. And I think that kind of set the game a little bit uh, in a tailspin. Nicolas Pepe, with a wonderful goal, made it 1-0 for Arsenal. And I thought, okay, Arsenal can come back. I saw most of the, uh, at least the last uh, 30 minutes I saw. And Arsenal seemed to be well, well away. But then uh, Louis Dunk with a messy goal, 1-1. And... Arsenal again finds a way to implode. Neil Mopé, ex exactly that Neil Mopé, scores in stoppage time. A beautifully taken goal, I have to say. Um, also 2-1 and Brighton hands Arsenal the second loss of this restart. And Arsenal really that doesn't look good. Wolves had no problem with West Ham, as did Crystal Palace with Bournemouth. I was surprised about the Newcastle United, Sheffield United uh, result 3-0, that's kind of decisive. But um, a red card to John Egan in the 50th minutes kind of set it up. And Sam Maxima, uh, Matt Ritchie and Joe Linton uh, scored the other two uh, goals. Make it a 3-0 win for Newcastle, we've been not very good on offense. Aston Villa takes a lead late in the first half uh, against the run of play. Uh, against Chelsea, um, Courtney Haas, but Chelsea uh, just keeps on add, added Kristen Pulisic after a nice assist by Spiliqueta, makes it 1-1 and uh, again after a nice Spiliqueta assist, uh, Giroud makes a period and makes it 2-1. 
How about the jersey matchup? I don't understand why Chelsea was not playing in blue there. I think uh, the black against the Aston Villa, that just didn't look right. Not much I can say about Everton against Liverpool. I saw most of that game. Um, I mean, there was Lusk playing at the same time almost. And yeah. At first I thought, yeah, Liverpool, Liverpool is showing something. It takes a little bit slow, but it got slower and slower and slower as the game went on. And only with Dan Lovren coming in, Everton actually got some chances to score. Uh, Liverpool had very little chances. I think there was one by... Um, uh, Matip, was that it? I was really a uh, poor showing and I didn't understand why Mo Salah was, wasn't playing, but yeah. And then Manchester City beats Burnley 5-0. I didn't see anything from there. I saw highlights of all the other games. I didn't see much from, from that one, but uh, clearly Manchester City just postpones the title party for Liverpool. For, for Liverpool. They cannot become champions uh, just right just not yet, but you know, it is only a matter of time until Liverpool is confirmed champions. I think they want to get it done over quickly, but it will take some time for sure. That's the Premier League. I would have liked to do the championship, but I literally couldn't find the time to uh, set up all the graphics for that one. Um, I would imagine it will take me about two hours for that, and that's two hours that I currently don't have, especially since I have to do the FA Cup very, very soon. So let's see, I really hope it uh, will get going. But let's look at the standings at least of the Premier League. To finish out this video, as I said, Liverpool stays um, on top. Now 20 points ahead of Manchester City. Um, yeah, Manchester City doesn't have a uh, as, as it stands, will not play in the Champions League. So fifth place is enough. But look now at the big winners, Chelsea. Uh, Manchester United drew, um, Sheffield United lost, Wolves, who were already a little bit behind, are down. So they have a really nice five-point cushion uh, to fifth place. So their chances of uh, qualifying the Champions League increase significantly, especially since they now have to play Manchester City. So, kind of looks good. Crystal Palace leaves for Arsenal, who is on a two-digit spot. That doesn't look good for our Arsenal. And in the relegation battle, Norwich seems like a certainty, uh, as does Bournemouth and Aston Villa to a certain degree. But, you know, um, it's still very tight. Watford, West Ham, Bournemouth, Aston Villa are within two points of each other. So, that's rather intriguing. Anyway, Add something in the comments below to those games if you would like to. As I said, I'm trying to summarize them rather quickly. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that would be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe. With that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye. Thank you.